strange, but we are coming up on the end of another school year. The 2017-18 school year is nearly in the books. I'm Deanne Conrad here with Envision and with Dr. Brian Maher talking a little bit about the triumphs and challenges of this past year. There are a number off the top of the head that you can mm. you can kind of recite. What what uh, are those issues that, that have been keeping you busy in the past year? You know, I think one of the things that uh, every year you, you think about is uh, how do you attract and retain quality staff mm -hmm. and, and this year was was no different in that regard and next year won't be any different in that <laughs> regard either so that's that's something that's crucial to the the success of, of our organization so that's always going to be an issue you know one of the other things that we started this year a very large initiative in our school district was a computer science immersion mm -hmm. we started at three of our, our title buildings and and while the, we, it's not quite a wrap yet, I think it was a colossal success yes. in those buildings this year. And, and the, the anecdotal feedback I've heard from principals and from teachers and from some kids and some parents has really been uh, heartwarming uh, for, uh, for that uh, venture that we've been a part of. So those would, be, those would be some really interesting issues. You know, one of the things that really has been ongoing throughout the year and will, and will take us into next year and that has been just the planning process for our facilities. Mm -hmm. You know, from our, from just our conversations internally, our conversations with our board, the planning process, the community engagement, the, the, the point where we're almost wrapping up now our task force mm -hmm. work, and, and they'll be handing that off to our board of education. That has really been quite a process as this year has gone on as well. Um, and I would say probably the thing that weighed most heavily on my mind is the issue of school safety mm -hmm. and if you think about, about that from a broad perspective that always weighs on our mind absolutely but in this year uh, the uh, the issue in parkland florida and mm -hmm. the, the loss of life that happened there and how did we deal with that as a nation mm -hmm. how did we deal with that as a sioux falls school district and the uh, trying to figure out the right way to handle that and the and the second guessing that comes with that, mm -hmm. and I understand that, I don't mean that in any bad way, but the second guessing that comes from, from our community and how you handle that situation, mm -hmm. I think was a, a really a, a weighed heavily on my mind and took a lot of time from a lot of folks in our school district. So uh, without getting too weighty on that last issue, you know, those are four pretty big issues right there. I would say. Not to mention we went ahead and tried to teach and learn every what? day of the school year. So <laughs> yes, a lot there going is on. that daily, that yeah. daily, um, you know, academic component that has to be infused into everything we do. Right. I know that you go out um, often and, and stop in classrooms and things like that. Mm -hmm. And that's gotta be a great joy to just be amongst the kids and to see what they're learning, to see their level of engagement. So as not to leave on a down note, talk a little bit about um, getting out and just some of the very neat things you've seen in the in the buildings this oh last gosh year. you know uh, I, I got to see a number of computer science initiatives this year mm -hmm. that was awesome um, I, I, I speak at all levels I'll read at the elementary level and so um, I think all of it all of it has been excellent here's one thing that happens in many many elementary rooms um, it's rare that an elementary student knows who I am. So generally speaking, the, the teacher or whoever is introducing me will say, we've talked about this in our classroom. Does anybody know who this is? And they'll look and they're eager and they want to know, but they don't quite know. And somebody will say, well, doctor, and almost invariably they'll say, Seuss. <laughs> so uh, that's, that, that's something I can always count on, something I always chuckle at. But, but, uh, not, you're not quite as well known as no, Dr. Seuss. No, not, not, not at all. A little bit of work to do in order to get that's a that's a high bar notoriety. for me to try to get over. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, wonderful. I'm, I'm certain that uh, the days are very different from one to the next. As superintendent of the largest school district in South Dakota, some days more challenging than others, and some just a celebration of all the success that is out there. So, mm -hmm. thanks for all you do, and thanks for joining us on Envision.